Good afternoon. Um, my name is Patrick Lyons. I am a member of the Triangle East chapter of 100 Black Men of America. I'm also a 500 hour registered yoga instructor with the Yoga Alliance. Um, today, um, I'm going to lead a class on um, a yoga class on relaxation. Um, as part of the serenity experience, we were working on strategies to help people lower their blood pressure and yoga is one way that can help and the poses in this class today will be um, very beneficial in lowering um, blood pressure and also just relaxing the body and the mind. Um, we're going to get started with a breathing exercise um, called Nadi Shadani. Um, this is a technique that um, can help settle the body, um, also um, restore balance and energize the body as well. It's a um, breathing technique where you breathe in and out of alternate nostrils, and I'll demonstrate that in just a moment. Um, there are over 70,000 nadis in the body, and nadis are channels. And by using this Nadi Shadani breathing technique, it can help you um, cleanse those channels and release those toxins in your body to um, um, restore your um, energy and to also clear out your nostrils and um, just um, settle your brain. So I'm going to go ahead um, and get started here. Come to a comfortable seated position. Um, either sitting on your heels or cross leg, whatever works for you. Relax your body, relax your mind. And to demonstrate Nadi Shadani first, we're gonna make a mudra with our right hand. And a mudra is basically just a hand gesture. So what we're gonna do is we're going to bend up our index and our middle finger into our thumb. And then we're gonna keep our uh, ring and our little finger together straight up. When we're breathing in and out of our left nostril, we'll use our right thumb to, I mean, we're breathing in and out of our left nostril, we'll use our right thumb to cover our right nostril, and then we'll breathe in and out of our left like this. When we're breathing in and out of our right nostril, we'll use our left ring finger to cover our left nostril, and we'll breathe in and out like this. So come to a comfortable seated position, relax your body, relax your mind. And let's begin. We're gonna do um, 10 breaths on each side. And so let's start by covering up our, our left nostril and our right nostril, sorry. Let's begin. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Switch sides, we we'll cover our left nostril with our right ring finger. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, 
exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Gently release. I'm going to sit back into child's pose. Sit back on your heels. Extend your fingertips towards the top of your mat. Relax your forehead on the floor. So inhales in your nose, so exhales out of your nose. Walk your hands to the left side of your mat, stacking your right hand on top of your left. Breathe. Walk your hands back to center. Walk your hands to the right side of your mat, stacking your left hand on top. Breathe. Walk your hands back to center. Lift your hips up for puppy pose. You'll feel a different stretch here in your shoulders. Focus on your breathing. If there's any stress that came in the room with you, let go of it right this moment. Focus on your breathing. Clear your mind. Each exhale, feel your body totally relax. Slowly come up, extend your legs behind you, come down onto your elbows for Sphinx pose. Look over your left shoulder, twisting your neck gently. Slowly come back to center.
Look over your right shoulder. So we come back to center. Relax your right ear on the mat as you reach your left hand for your left ankle for a leg pull. Just do a gentle pull here. Gently release your left leg, come back to center. Relax your left ear on the floor on your reach for your Reach your right hand for your right ankle or leg pull. Relax your body. Gentle pull on your right ankle. Gently release your right leg, come back to center. Bring your Right leg out to the side at a 90 degree angle for Spider-Man pose. This will stress in the inner part of your thigh. Relax your left ear on the mat. Extend your right leg back out to meet your left. Come back to center. Breathe. Bring your left leg out to the side at a 90 degree angle. Relax your right ear on the mat. And focus on your breathing. Bring your left leg back to meet your right. Extend it out behind you. And focus on your breathing here.
Bend up both knees and move your legs from right to left, windshield wiper in your, your legs, releasing your lower back. Come back to center, extend your legs behind you, push up to a tabletop position. Tabletop, your wrists are below your shoulders, your knees are below your hips. Stay here for a couple of breaths. Look over your left shoulder, give your neck a little gentle stretch here. Come back to center, realign your spine. Look over your right shoulder. Feel a stretch in your neck. Come back to center. Now we're going to do some cat and cows to kind of awaken the spine. So for a cat, we're going to inhale, arch your spine, bring your chin to your chest. Exhale, lower all the way down for cow. Lift your chin up. Inhale, arch your spine, bring your chin to your chest. Exhale, lower all the way down. And do two more, inhale. Arch your spine, bring your chin to your chest. Exhale, lower all the way down. Relax your body, lift your chin up. Inhale, arch your spine, bring your chin to your chest. Exhale, lower all the way down for cow. Come back to a neutral spine, press your palms into the mat, tuck your toes under for downward facing dog. We're gonna walk our heels out here left and right. Opening up those calves and hamstrings. Lift your right leg up for three-legged down dog. Bring your right leg all the way through your hands. Lower your left knee down for crescent moon lunge. Place your palms on top of your right knee and breathe. Gently push your right knee out, rolling onto the edge of your right foot for a different kind of stretch here if you feel on your inner thigh. Focus on your breathing. Come back to center, straighten your right leg, 
for half monkey. And you can either stay here or if you feel comfortable, you can bring your forehead closer to your knee, do a deeper stretch, but go where your body will allow you to go. Straighten your, bring your right knee back to a 90 degree angle. Place both hands on the inside of your right foot for a runner's lunge. Go deeper, different kind of stretch here. You can feel it on the quad of your left leg and the inner thigh of your right. Lower your body will allow you to go. Press your palms into the mat, step back into downward facing dog. Walking your heels out here left and right. We're gonna repeat this sequence on the other side to balance our body. So lift up your left leg. Bring your left leg all the way through between your hands. Press your palms on your left knee for crescent moon lunge. Push your knee, your left knee out towards your left side of your body, rolling up on the edge of your left foot. Come back to center, straighten your left leg for half monkey. You can lower your head closer to your um, left knee or stay where you are, um, wherever your body will allow you to go. Bend your left knee back to a 90 degree angle. Place your hands inside of your left foot for runner's lunge.
Step back into downward facing dog. Walking heels out here left and right. The calves should be a little more warmed up so you can hopefully try to get your heels a little closer to the floor, but go where your body will allow you to go. Slowly walk your hands to meet your feet. Hang in a forward fold here. Relax your body, relax your forehead, allow the force of gravity to pull it closer to the floor. Let go where your body will allow you to go. Do not force anything. Do a slight micro bend in your left knee. You'll feel a, a stretch inside of your, closer to your glute on your right side. Straighten your left knee. Hang on a forward fold here. Bend your right knee. Keep your left leg straight. Just a slight micro bend. You'll feel a stretch towards your left glutes. Straighten your right leg, hang on the forward fold, let the force of gravity, take your forehead closer to the floor. Inhale, lift your chin, straighten your legs, a little stretch on the back side of your legs. Gently release, come to a seated position. A comfortable seated position, whatever's comfortable for you. We're gonna do an easy twist. So for this twist, sit up straight, place your right hand on your left knee, left hand at the base of your spine. Inhale, lengthen your spine, sit up straight, relax your shoulders. Exhale, look over your left shoulder. With each inhale and exhale, you can go a little deeper by walking this left hand closer to the right side of your body, but you go where your body will allow you to go. So we come back to center. Relax your spine. Let's breathe here for a couple of breaths. Now we're gonna switch sides, place your left hand on your right knee, your right hand at the base of your spine. Inhale, lengthen your spine, relax your shoulders. Exhale, twist to the right, looking over your right shoulder.
You want to go deeper, you can walk that right hand closer to the left side of your body. One more breath here. Slowly come back to center. Come back to a tabletop position. Uh, hands below your shoulders, knees below your hips. We're going to inhale our right arm up. Exhale your right arm under your left shoulder, relaxing your head on the mat. Extend your left hand towards the top of your mat. Feel a deep stretch in your shoulder. If you want to go deeper, you can walk your left hand towards the right side of your mat. But if you're comfortable here, just stay right there. Slowly come back up to center, back to tabletop. Realign our spine here. Inhale your left arm up. Exhale your left arm under your right shoulder. Relax your left ear on the mat. Repeat what you did on the other side. If you walked your hand closer to the opposite side, you can do that again here, or just leave it where it is, extend it up above your head. And breathe. Slowly come back up to tabletop. Extend your legs in front of you for staff pose. Back is straight, hands by your side. Focus on your breathing. Separate your feet about mat width distance. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward between, reach your hands between your legs. Slowly come back up. Turn towards your left foot. Inhale both hands over your head. Exhale, fold forward. Slowly come back up. Twist back towards the center. 
Inhale your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Slowly walk your hands back up. Turn towards your right foot. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Slowly come back up. Come back to center one last time. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. Slowly come back up. Come back to a comfortable seated position, the center of your mat. We're gonna do some neck stretching here. So first just real, get our set up straight. Lower your head to your left side, trying to get your ear closer to your left shoulder. Relax your right shoulder. Slowly come back up to center. Lower your ear to your right shoulder, towards your right shoulder. Relax your left. Slowly come back up to center. Lower your chin towards your chest. Relax your shoulders. Slowly raise your head back up. Uh, 
So we're gonna come back onto our um, a seated position. I mean, with our legs extended for staff pose. Inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, fold forward. You can reach for your, your calves, your ankles, or your feet, whatever you can reach that you can pull onto, because pulling is the object of stretching. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Try to bring your forehead closer to your knees. Let go where your body will allow you to go. Slowly come back up, lay onto your back, extend your legs out for a brief Shavasana here. Palms facing the ceiling, focus on your breathing, relax breathing. Bring your knees in your chest, rock from side to side, giving that low back massage here. Come back to center, lower both knees to the left side, your right leg on top of your left, Inhale your right arm up, exhale, twist to the right, looking over your right shoulder. Your left hand is on top of your right knee. Just let your body relax into this stretch. One more breath here. Slowly come back up to center. Bring your knees back into your chest here. Rock from side to side. Come back to center, lower both knees to the right side, placing your right hand on top of your left knee, inhale your left arm up, twist to the left, looking over your left shoulder. So we come back up to center. 
Bring your knees back into your chest. Rock from side to side. This time we're gonna go up and down. Give that low back another kind of massage here. Now, if you're near a wall, what we're gonna do is we're going to lay, raise our legs up on the wall. This is a nice position that you can do anytime during the day. Maybe a good idea at nighttime to just lay your legs on the wall. It helps the circulation in your legs. So if you have diabetes, this is a good pose. It also helps slow the heart rate. So it's also good for our blood pressure. But just relax here and breathe. You can lay your arms out to the side, or if you like, you can put one hand on your, your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your stomach and breathe. Feel your stomach rise and fall as you just inhale and exhale. Relax your body, relax your mind. Focus on your breathing, slow inhales in your nose, slow exhales out of your nose. Hold no tension. With each exhale, let go of all the stress and tension in your body. As you inhale, inhale positive thoughts. Continue to slowly breathe in your nose and slowly breathe out of your nose. Gently released. Lay in your final Shavasana. Extend your legs out in front of you and towards the end of your mat, palms facing up. Relax breathing, hold no tension in your body. With each exhale, let go of all the still air in your body. Show your body some gratitude for the work you've done. Gratitude always makes things better. 
finding joy in the little things in life. I'm grateful for you for joining me for this practice today. Thank you for sharing this practice with me. Namaste.